800 finalist in the World Championship and a national record at 15. Here's the lineup. Burnett Campion, Pierce Woolmers, Robinson Immaculate, Tajadine St. Andrew High, Walters Immaculate, Bailey of the Queen's School, Mullings of Excelsior, Francis of Woolmers, and they're on the back stretch, just about to get going. Heat number one. In fact, the final for the young ladies in class three. Yes, it is the final, and uh, they're running three and three quarters of a lap for this 1500 meters. And uh, Bailey of the Queen's School there, out in front, she was fourth last year. Her coach, Carla Samuels, is, of course, formerly was Manchester coach, and so um, knows the value of scoring at the 815, and so has tried to, over the years at the Queen's School, not just start for the familiar sprints and hurdles diet, but also to expand into 815. So that's why you see Queen's here, near the front, trying to score heavily. Yes, that is uh, the pair of Queen's athletes, Jadine McKenzie. In uh, third, she won this event last year. Her teammate, Bailey, is out in front, and Tajadine of St. Andrew's High, trailing, hanging on to her shoulder. Tajadine bursts through, takes the lead, and uh, opens a stride. New coach at St. Andrew High, new energy with Matthew Tapper. Formerly worked hard at the Immaculate Program, and... Uh, has gone and branches on his own so at St. Andrew High, Andrew High at Cecilia Avenue. Yes, and Tajadine, she's separated herself Tajadine. about uh, seven meters ahead of uh, Wilma's athlete the uh, there, Leah Francis. So They've done some work as well. They've added Philip Bailey to their coaching staff. Bailey, part of the Manchester coaching staff when they won champs twice in the 1990s and known uh, field events and distance expert. And so France is looking businesslike in second. And you can see that the athletes look uh, a little like the heat is affecting them already. It's a really hot day for these type of long distance races. Um, St. Andrew High's Tajadeen, she actually trains at this track. Uh, she does some, so a bit of distance work with the the Coach Johnson of JC here. Andrew so yes, that's familiar grounds for her. Of course, it's quarter past 11 in Kingston on Big Ben. Uh, 17 and past 11 and so that 28 degrees Celsius on the graphic we saw when we started the show tells you how hot it is for the 1500 meters so the ladies suffering a bit in the midday sun. Tajadine, these Francis, these two clear of the rest. Two laps to go. So this might pay off for Tajadine taking the lead. Um, still, uh, as you say, two laps to go. So a lot can happen in over the last two 800 meters. But they have separated themselves. And if they're able to hold on, then it might be enough to take the title this year. Tajadine looks to be gradually winding the pace up again. Francis had closed in right almost into her footsteps. But now half a footstep begins to open up on the back straightaway. Tajadine uh, up. What used to be Melrose Hill at Old Jamaica College opens up a little move and starts to come towards the 200 mark. Francis holds on to her, and these two schools from Kingston showing some metal at 1500 meters. It's Tajadine, you can see her headdress, traditional headdress. She's in the lead, and Francis in second. It's not what we expected uh, coming in, the defending champion, all the way in fourth, and her teammate back in fourth and uh, fifth and sixth actually but uh, Tajadine of St. Andrew's High for girls and, and Francis of Woolmouth girls first and second right now and maintain a really steady strong pace out in front what Robinson of Immaculate Robinson has broken away from the chasing pack and has set aim on these two in front one lap to go with Tajadine striding with purpose in the lead and uh, Francis looks like she's accelerating around the bottom curve. Francis looking the best of the two in the lead. And uh, the challenge from third place begins to fade a little bit. It's a chase on for gold and silver. Tajadi, that familiar Andrews top with the black shorts, all the way down to her ankles. And Francis in second. 
Yeah, she did it. She, she, she was seventh last year, came in with a, really, a modest six minutes and 15 seconds time, and she made a bold move and went straight to the front, and it's paying off for her. Uh, Wilma's Francis looks very strong, stepping. Looks like she's ready to take over the lead now. Francis looks strong, and but Tajuddin replies with a burst of energy on the 200 mark. Tajuddin had something saved up around the curve and breaks away from Francis. It's Tajuddin of St. Andrew High who runs away from Francis with 150 to go. Tajuddin into the straightaway, looking so good. Francis finds another burst of energy as well and starts to rally. Did Tajuddin accelerate too soon? Here comes Francis on the outside. Francis runs past Tajuddin. Tajuddin can't respond. It's uh, Francis of Woolmers who takes the first 15 of the day and comes through to win. 527.27. Amazing performance there for Leah Francis. Uh, really good run from both girls. Uh, she both didn't come into this race with the, the strongest times, but they made bold moves. Tajadeen led most of the way, all the way up until the 200 mark, made a move too early, and Francis bided her time, trailed well.